what became his latest battleground. The comments made by Donald Trump on Friday night in Alabama continue to echo through the country's two most watched sports leagues. Wouldn't you love to see one of these NFL owners when somebody disrespects our flag to say, get that son of a off the field right now, out, he's fired. Trump was attacking NFL players who have been kneeling during the national anthem to protest racial injustice. Then on Saturday morning, he disinvited NBA star Stephen Curry to the White House on Twitter. I commend and, and applaud everybody that's spoken up. It's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to continue this conversation and, and hopefully promote change. A White House visit is a tradition for championship winning sports sides, but Curry's Golden State Warriors issued a statement saying they'll instead use their planned visit to Washington to quote, celebrate equality, diversity and inclusion. We would, in normal times, very easily be able to set aside political differences and go visit and have a great time and, and that'd be awesome, but these are not ordinary times. The response of Cleveland Cavaliers star LeBron James to Trump on Twitter, calling him a bum, has attracted more than 1.2 million likes. We all know how much sports brings us together, um, how much passion it has, how much we love and care and, you know, the friendships and everything that it creates. And for him to try to use this platform to divide us even more, um, it's not something I can stand for. On Saturday, Oakland Athletics catcher Bruce Maxwell became the first Major League Baseball player to kneel during the national anthem. The way I did it was to symbolize the fact that I'm kneeling for a cause, but, I, but I'm in no way or form disrespecting my country or my flag. There are seven NFL owners who each donated $1 million to Trump's presidential campaign. But along with the league and the Players Association, several clubs issued statements on Saturday critical of his comments. Trump, though, saved his third tweet of the day on the issue for the league's commissioner. Roger Goodell of NFL just put out a statement trying to justify the total disrespect certain players show to our country. Tell them to stand. There are 14 NFL games scheduled for Sunday. How many of those players choose to kneel will now be the focus. Elise Holman, Al Jazeera. Mm. Had no idea what they were talking about because um, I hadn't seen social media yet. And uh, it was kind of applauding me for kind of sticking to my, my own beliefs about the whole situation. Um, and from there, I kind of opened up Twitter, saw uh, what he said, and it's kind of crazy because knew going into it today it was a good big opportunity for us as a team and organization to kind of talk about um, what the situation was. And like we've all said all summer, um, or you know, Bob said it, Joe said it, Coach Kerr said it. We were going to talk about it as a team today. <laughs> it's kind of funny that. Uh, that tweet was sent before we had a chance to get together the team, so um, it is what it is. Um, my stance is, is the same as it was yesterday and even kind of cemented even further about um, how things have, in our country have gone, especially with him you know, representing us and, and, and for me not in, in, a, in a very damaging way, but um, you know, we, we have an opportunity still in February to figure out what we're going to do to celebrate the championship, and that's what this is about. Um, that's why we're having this conversation because we want a championship, and that's the position we're in, and we want to take that, you know, advantage, uh, take advantage of that opportunity, and we, and we will. But just, just even like yesterday, what happens with the him talking in Alabama about the you know, NFL guys making peaceful protests that are not in any way disrespecting veterans and the flag and whatnot and the national anthem and how that whole situation has gone down the way that he kind of takes um, his opportunity to, to bash these